here from PyCat Talk Network with a, another episode for off season here. So this episode we are going to take a in depth look at where our roster currently sits as well as free agents. Um, as you can see on my screen, I basically took uh, the whole roster from the website. Um, and basically the players that are bolded in orange, you could call it, are the free agents. Um, the big key on this one is Bo Levi Mitchell, only because, um, January, I think they said January 15th, he is owed a signing bonus. So we, sh we will know by January 15th if... He is still with us. Not with us. If he signed a new con, like a not a new contract, but a like a like a lower end contract. Um, the thing that scares me about this sheet that I have here is secondary needs a a hu needs a, a facelift. Our secondary got beat so many times this year. Uh, corners, halfbacks, um, all need a new face left. So if I was a betting man, I would. Um, I'm going to. Okay, I'm going to underline all the players that I think, me personally. Wait. Win is beyond. Um, I would bring back Carney and Bennett. Um, I didn't see much out of these these two, anyways. Oshi Koshi was only special team, so I didn't see much from him. Um, so Sean Thomas Erlington is injury prone. Um, I know. He had some, you know, good times in Hamilton, but I think we should move on from him. Um, Schultz, the guy rumored to make one hundred and twenty-five thousand this year. I honestly think the better move would be to bring Powell up as the number two and bring Loxley back as the the third string short, short like sh uh, short yardage QB. Um. Ternowski, he's, I didn't really see much of him out of the last few years. He's injury prone. Um, Williams, Williams is Williams. Um, Wood Manzi would be a definite re-sign on the offensive line. Or is it Rittenberg? I, I get the two confused, but I do think both um, should be back. Benzel, either release or retire. Um, anyone that is not colored orange is already signed with our team. So defensive line. I think if you bring back Bennett and you bring back Carney with Siles, you just need you either use Diallo or you use. Um, he went at the other one. Maybe bring in another depth defense tackle, but I think defensive ends as far as Kearney and Bennett go. That's who I'd be be starting. Um, Jaguar Davis. When he comes out of the locker room for warm up, it's just like laziness. He's in his own zone. He's not with the. He doesn't come out with the team. There's like no work ethic there. To me, his his heart's not there anymore for this team. Um, so I say we move on from him. Um, defense wise. Um, just before I go to defense, kicker wise, if there is no other kicker out there. I would honestly consider bringing back Legio um, for that. Other than that, I think that it's our offense. 
Um, defense, I do think that we do bring up, we bring back cross. Um, I think, I think Wilson's over on this side. If Wilson is, I don't know if he is wide, uh, weak side linebacker or strong side linebacker. Either way, either position, Wilson should start this year. The Moni Malerns, I, I have a dear to my heart, but the only way Simone comes back is for the right money. I'm, he has to take a pay cut to come back. If he doesn't take a pay cut, then he's not gonna come. I don't see him coming back. I wouldn't mind seeing Thurman be brought back. Um, Edwards, Edwards is Edwards. You get what you get. I don't see him coming back. Um, Fl Flowers Lloyd, I see him in a bigger role next year, this upcoming season than he had this year. Um, possibly as a backup to either side. Uh, Adelike was on the IR for six weeks. I don't see Adelike coming back to play safety. If he's going to come back, I could see him... Um, going to either halfback positions. Definitely should be starting over George Jr. George Jr. should not be starting. Uh, but those are the, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten people that I would bring back. Anyone else that's not underlined, I would not bring back. Simply because there's either cheaper people out there or there's people that I think we should take a look at. I haven't looked at all of the list. Um but I wouldn't for the right offer. Actually, you know what? Let me bring this up. Uh let me bring this up. Oh, if I have it on here. I'm not like bring in bring this up here. Um, we'll bring it on normal one here. Close this and. Marshall Ferguson. So Mar Marshall Ferguson, a couple of weeks ago, he did a color chart. Right here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this. Let's just take a look here. So, as far as <clears throat> receivers go. Now, everyone on this list we won't be able to sign, but there are players. But I wouldn't mind if the money was right, they would take a look at. Um, Let's see here. Let's start at the top. Now... Hollins, Cotty, Hatcher, and Whitehead, if they're going to stay with BC. Actually, you know what? Let's not do this. Let's save this for another episode because then I'll give my inside look of who I think we were, will bring in from the other teams. But we will leave this episode where it's at. As far as our group goes. And if you have any comments as to other players that you think that we should bring back, um, do leave your comments below. I'm curious to see who 
I did not underline who you think that we should bring back. Um, this is Rick from TyCat Talk Network, and have yourself a great afternoon, evening, or morning, wherever you're watching this.